Hi and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Dump 1090 application on a Raspberry Pi using a Nuilec SDR receiver so we can track aircraft. So if you have a look at this, this is a very small antenna which we need. So if you have the HF bundle pack then go ahead and install the small antenna onto the little base unit. Then go ahead and plug that into the SDR receiver. Plug the SDR receiver into your Raspberry Pi and you also need to make sure you've got RTL SDR software installed on the Raspberry Pi as well. So once you've got that, let's go ahead and have a look at the program that we need to install onto the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so with your new Elec SDR receiver plugged into your Raspberry Pi, we now need to go ahead and open up a terminal on your Raspberry Pi. So I'm using an application called Putty, P-U-T-T-Y, and I've just connected to my Raspberry Pi uh, via SSH. So once you're logged in, you're going to be presented with the console and we need to put in some commands now. Now these commands are going to download the software that we need. Now the software that we need for this is obviously called Dump 1090. Now Dump 1090 relies on the driver and installation of RTL STR. If you don't know how to do that, then please uh, leave a comment down below and I will leave a link or I'll create another video on how to do that. So this is assuming that you already have RTL STR installed on your Raspberry Pi. So first thing we need to do is actually make sure that we're in the home directory. So we're just going to go cd forward slash home forward slash pi and we are there already. Now we need to actually uh, clone some code from a github so if you have a look here uh, this is the code that you need to type in and I will just hit enter. I'll leave all this down in the description below. Okay, so once that's actually finished downloading, we are ready to go ahead and start compiling it. So we just go cd dump 1090 and we type in the make command, M-A-K-E and press enter. Now this will actually compile 1090 so that you're able to run it. Okay, so when you get back the console prompt, you're now able to run the application. So I'm gonna use this particular command it has some application switches on here which you probably don't need to worry about at the moment for this but this will give you everything that's available so what I'm going to do now is hit enter and you should be presented with a screen like this this is actually the raw data well it's not actually the raw data but it's it's data which has been converted to an ASCII format we have the hex ID on the left hand side of the aircraft that it's receiving we've even got the call sign here on the fourth column along and then you've got a load of other information now while this is great to look at it's a bit like looking at the matrix you know unless you know what you're looking at it's just numbers and letters luckily Luckily, Dump1090 actually provides a web server already built in and running when you run this application with that specific command line. So let's go ahead over to a web browser and let's have a look to see what it looks like. Okay, so once you've got your browser open, simply type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi followed by colon 8080 and you will then be presented with this screen. So assuming that your new ELEC SDR receiver is located in a position where it can receive aircraft's data, then you're gonna be presented with this screen. And now this is pretty cool. This is actually live. This is live that is coming from the skies above. Now, if I click on a particular aircraft here, you can see it moving. And on the top right over here, we can see some more information. We can see the altitude squawk code. We can see it's ICAO uh, hex code current speed and the tracking so the direction on which it's going it also shows the latitude and longitude now all of this information is coming directly from dump 1090 none of this is actually coming from the internet so you could be disconnected from the internet and you will still see all of this information now this is actually just a pretty short demo of how to get this working so if you're quite interested to see the aircraft above then using this is really cool okay so there we go that is how you install dump 1090 onto your raspberry pi and use your new elec sdr receiver to track aircraft and so i think it's pretty cool anyway if you guys got any questions then please leave them down below and until the next video we'll see you in the next one